and the white is called white matter and grey is called grey matter. It's not really colourful. If you could feel it, it would feel sort of squishy. Very, very squishy. My brain looks like a bunch of squishy worms. Or like a cauliflower. It's very grey. Scientists normally pickle a grain and that's that's why you normally see quite pink grains everywhere. The neuron must send messages, just like we do the oranges. We drew a picture which went in action on an orange, and then we gave it to the axon to give to the other neuron who did the action, then wrote down another one on the orange, and the axon passed that on to the other neuron. Neuron has to read the message and work out what actions they have to do, and then they have to do them. So you have to kick your left leg and jump. Great! Um, Plugged in. The, the brain shuts down for a bit. What I'm going to let you see how the eye is. You can visualise images in your head and on the computer you can see images. The acts like a keyboard to the rest of your body. They can both be fixed. Over, over here, everyone's making necklaces. The beads are the parts of the brain and together they form an activity. And we just basically wrote down all the activities we do in the day and thought about which parts of the brains we'd be using and there was a different colour to represent each part. Brownie is showing just wooden ones, I mean memory. Hippocampus stores memory, frontal lobe, it helps you pay attention and plan ahead. The temporal lobe helps you listen and speak. Hypothalamus helps you do everyday stuff like eat, drink, wee, poo, sleep. The glow the dark ones are the axons moving the information on to the other action. If you're right-handed, you use the left part of your brain. If you're left-handed, you use the right part of your brain. So it's like an X. I'm right-handed, so I use the left side of my brain, mostly. Oh, what's that?